originally when we met with you the first time, we were going to come direct to market with a Zero One product. We've kind of stepped back from that a little bit, and we've decided that we're going to be more of an enabler mode. We're going to work with uh, distribution partners, a lot of them put their own brand on it, and then resell it. Uh, kind of uh, making phone companies out of retailers, allowing them to leverage their existing brands. Um, but we're still using the data tunneling techniques. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's sort of the core of the difference in the technology, right? Yeah, so it's really, um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just an unlimited internet plan, not just mobile web serving, but actually unlimited data where you can right. tether and download and everything else you want. And it, But it's all voice over IP, all over, you know, GSM network. So, and it's not just that fixed mobile convergence where you have to have a GSM carrier as well. It's all voice over IP. And it works with HSTPA. It does work with HSTPA. On the 1700, 2100 bands? Yes. Okay. Yes. The technology Only on itself. Those bands, or? No, see, the technology itself is. is um, is agnostic. It's it's not uh, band or network. Um, you know, based upon any band or network, it'll work on anything. It'll work on wired. We just decided we're going to partner with Jason Paris because it'll give us like an international roaming capability. Um, so when you say partner with Jason Paris, what do you mean? So what we've done is. Um, we basically have interconnect agreements with GSM carriers. They've allowed us to create a, a virtual private network overlay on top of their GSM network. And that allows us to backhaul from the consumer back to our data network. So typically in Vino, we just resell a carrier's data and telecommunications. But we're not reselling any content or services from a carrier. We provide our own data, and then on top of that, we do our own voice over IP and things of that nature. Why are all the carriers and you guys keeping that such a secret, like which carriers you're working with? Or, like you guys haven't named any specific carriers you're and working we, with, yeah, I, and they haven't named you guys. And right. It's, it's sort of it's a big not, game of cat and mouse with the It's not like I wouldn't mind naming a carrier, but yeah. it's more on their end. Do you feel like at some point you have to name a carrier just to sort of defend yourselves? Because, I mean, <laughs> it seems like the carriers are almost in outright denial mode. Whereas you guys are clearly have a product here that's running off of a 1700 and 2100 spectrum. I mean, right. come on now, let's call a spade a spade. Sure. No, I understand, but um, you know, just the way the agreements are, we, yeah, sure. we honor our agreements. So I can bring any, I can bring any device to you guys, and you guys can provision it with the special software. And that's well. That's what we want to do. I mean, we're developing what's called a defragmentation engine. Obviously, uh -huh. I'm not sure if you're familiar with defragmentation issues, but that's basically not any one software will just operate on any device. It's device um, dependent, and it's also OS dependent, and then it, what combination of OS and device you're using. Because the device has its own drivers, and then the OS has its own, you know, functions. Um, so we've actually had to develop, we're, and we're developing and working on what we call a defragmentation engine. That'll become a universal software component that will install on any device. At that point, it'll be truly bring your own device. But for now, what we're having to physically do to meet market demands is to port for each device. So in our technology rollout development, we're going to manually port for BlackBerry, uh, jailbroken iPhone, and Simeon devices. Do you have an expectation date for, I mean, a launch date for when uh, BlackBerry, Android, Windows, I mean, uh, iPhone? Yeah, I mean, I would like to see, I mean, BlackBerry is at the top of our list right now, so we, we like to see that. Um, Why BlackBerry? Uh, it's just because there's more Blackberries out there than iPhones, and, you know, and, you know, so as far so in as... In terms of who's using the data, it would almost seem that iPhones are using we're working on iPhones more data. as well. Sure, yeah, we're, sure. Yeah, absolutely. We're working on iPhones as well, but um, just uh, because of the high cost of entry into into the cellular market, because these devices aren't cheap, there's more BlackBerry devices out there, so that would give us a greater market as far as gaining access to those consumers. So if I want to buy. If I want to go out today and buy an unlimited data plan running off of your technology, can I do that anywhere and have a phone like right now that, you know, as a consumer, not as a yeah. A, a media so the data is is not software dependent. So if you just wanted a data plan, you can buy a data plan directly from us. Where? And, sorry. Where? 
Um, I mean, literally, like like right now, is there a consumer who can walk into a store or talk to a reseller or something? You know what? In the next 30 days, we will actually have on the street uh, retail so that you can actually get from. Okay. But we, 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 as far as physical ability and capability to provide truly unlimited data right now, yeah. we can do that because it's just a SIM card based. Sure. We just authenticate you. It's not software. The software is really the... But there's the still nowhere where someone can actually pay sixty nine ninety five a month and get the plan yet. Um, we have relationships with partners and we're ramping them up. Okay. So that's and why I say, say next 30 days. Next 30 days someone will be able to buy it somewhere. Yeah, and we'll hopefully by next week we'll make an announcement of who and where. Okay, and but you can't say anything about who and where yet. No. And is we're it going to be like more independent or more mainstream? or? This one is a little bit more independent, but it's they've been around for a while. They're they're known. And we tiered are marketing. actually... Sorry? Tiered marketing? Or you guys out of tiered marketing? No, I mean, the idea isn't completely shut down. Yeah. Um, it's just, you, obviously, you know, some of the things we went through. And, um, but Bad we, taste in everyone's mouth for the moment. Let's leave it alone. No, or? no it's just the next time we do do it, we're going to make sure, you know, things are in order a little bit more. Yeah. And, um, you know, we are actually in discussions right now with a big large retailer, which will give us a national distribution. Plan, yeah, so, yeah. But you're still going to need people to bring in their phones to be provisioned or... No, that's the neat thing is um, they'll be able to even maybe through a big box retailer just go and buy the SIM card, go home, put it in, sign up online, and it'll activate themselves. Over okay, there. okay, so it'll perform all the. So I can buy any unlocked phone that works with your, like right now it would be, I imagine, Windows, Windows Mobile 6.1, 6.5, does it matter? 5 and higher. Okay. So I can buy a Windows Mobile, any Windows Mobile 6.5 phone that works on the networks on which you... Right. Can it work on uh, AT&T's, HSTPA frequencies? Or? Um, all I can say is it'll work on, it, we have a nationwide GSM footprint that will work on, that will provide. If I uh, buy a phone with 850, 1800, 1900 bands, will I get, will I get HSDPA, you know, specifications? Um, yeah, or do I need 1700, 2100 to get HSDPA? Yes. Okay, so I need the 1700, 2100, okay. Um, but if I get the other ones, I can still use edge networking and, okay.